A station was built on top of a hill for passengers who live on the hill or hiking to catch a train or bus to ride on. And the hill was very steep and dangerous. Recently, a bunch of rabbits had dug barrels under the tracks, making it even more dangerous. So Sir Topham had had put up a speed limit for the engines to go slow and be very careful, or else there would have been a serious accident. The engines hated it. Those darn rabbits! I can't believe we have to go slow because of them. This makes things even more difficult. Thank you, Thomas. Just be lucky that Annie and Clarabelle are the heaviest person's loan that he has to take today. True, but I still don't understand why we have to slow down at the bottom of the hill instead of increasing our speed to get up the hill. Because if we go faster than what the speed limit is telling us, then the rails below us will collapse. Well, it's still going to cause trouble for everyone else. Percy and Daisy aren't going to like this. Thomas was right. The other engines hated going slow on the steep hill and knew that Sir Tom had needed to do something about it pronto. They understand that he's busy with the celebration, but he should at least put some time into this problem before it gets worse. At last, Sir Tom had told the engines that the barrels the rabbits made will be fixed along with the rails. They were very pleased about it. When the day before the repairs started, Thomas was going down the hill after picking up passengers from the station, but then came trouble. Thomas saw the rails being bent, so he tried to stop by putting on his brakes very hard, but it was too late. Ow! Jeez! What the freak! Part of the rail snapped and made a huge dent to it. Thomas wasn't able to get back on them. He was glad that Annie and Clarabelle didn't come off the rails with him, otherwise that would have been even more trouble. So the guard ran to the single man to call for help. Luckily, Percy was available to help. He was just dropping off some trucks when the station master walked up to him. Thomas had an accident at the bottom of the hill. Will you go help him back onto the rails, please? Percy said yes and puffed his way towards the hill. When he got there, the workman was already at the scene, figuring out what to do and how to do it. Bertie was able to take the passengers, and Toby was able to take Annie and Clarabo out of the way so they could concentrate on just Thomas. It's too dangerous to use a crane to put him back, and there's no way we can have Percy pull him out too. Otherwise, it would cause more trouble. Hmm, why not try lifting him up with Jax? Then Thomas won't be on the ground, and Percy will be able to pull him back onto the rails. Well, let's just hope so. How long will it take to do all that? I think it'll take at least... Mm, two hours, so you better be patient with us. Oh boy, this is going to be a long afternoon for me. So the workmen immediately started working on getting Thomas back onto the rails. They started with the jacks and carefully lifted him up and then placed some boards under him so it can be easier for Percy to put him on the rails. When they were done, they carefully lowered Thomas down with the jacks. They tied a rope to the two engines and the workmen gave them the signal. Are you ready? Heave! <laughs> At last, Thomas was free from the broken tracks. Oh, thank you, Percy. And thank you, everyone, for helping me get back onto the rails. Everyone cheered and Percy blew his whistle. And Percy took Thomas to the steamworks to see if there was any serious damage that needed to be repaired. The next day, the rails were closed for repairs on both the barrels and the broken tracks. The only one who was able to take care of the passengers for the engines was Bertie, but even then he found it very exhausting. He just hopes that the damages can be fixed really soon, as long as it doesn't happen again. <laughs>